here yesterday, and we talked about uh, how crazy it sounded. I don't know if it was repaired or if he's just going for it. Here we go. Michael Essa, FCP Euro, Likamali, BMW, and Eve My Oh, my goodness. That was just absolutely out of nowhere. Ryan, wow. Very surprised. That, it just like, it just, something, something grabbed the wheel. Yeah, that was really odd and uh, threw a lot of rocks on the track, so it's definitely going to have to be swept, wow. which is just going to keep pushing us deeper and deeper. But as you said, it was almost something kind of supernatural-like about what happened there with Michael Essa seemed completely well, out of character. Top 16, I believe, right? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to recall. Here we go. Eve Meyer out front. Michael Essa in a chase position. Eve Meyer from Switzerland initiating into that first front flip. There it is, bringing it on up. Looks like Essa running a lot stronger. Oh, Eve doesn't get all the way to the outside zone, but remember, with Essa going off course, he has a deficit. And look at he's trying to get right into his business. Unfortunately for Essa going off course, any mistake that Eve Meyer made on that run just does not over. Michael Essa initiates, high on the bank, look at this, both of them, textbook initiation on that outside zone. Let's see how they handle that first front flip. Alec Robbins tucks in the smoke signal, does not face him whatsoever. Ooh, but then he does center punch that second inside flip. And on that second outside zone, good execution. I gotta tell you, that was a really good chase job. I liked how Alec Robbins like tucked in. the way in. Robbins has progressed through the years. I know he drifted an MDU in a truck, actually, and now he's uh, campaigning this 350Z. Yes, sir, Robbins. All the way high, a little bit higher than Michael Essa, even. About the second hash mark on that. For, oh, boy. Michael Essa shallows it up, dipping that one front left tire. That's just a small deduction, essentially. But uh, Robbins putting it right into the groove. Now, Ryan, this is another scenario uh, Michael Essa has been on one tire manufacturer for Mole Charpentier. Michael Essa will lead. He talked about his car getting real gripped up. That's what he wanted for this event, and right now he needs all the grip he can get given the slick conditions. Now sliding into that second outside zone. Looks like uh, he's really working it out. That FCP Euro Liquid Molly BMW on GT radials. And the uh, Federal Tires go right. Oh, Rome Charpentier, the garagistic spinning out, got into the dirt. All eyes on Essa. Yeah, all eyes on me, all eyes on Essa. And now into that final outside zone. And unfortunately for Rome, that will be an advantage for Michael Essa. Honestly, I think that might have been one of the best lead runs I've seen in these conditions yeah. from Michael Essa. Even with the mistake that we saw there from Rome with the incomplete, Essa had a great initiation. I mean, you know, I, I think Justin Paulson's been out there towards the end. It was almost over. Austin Mata hits the wall, you know, in the final. So here we go. Rome Charpentier on his lead run, the garage stick. Federal tires, E36 versus the bit of a more modern BMW, but still Air competitive. Ball. Oh, yeah, like I said, but uh, <laughs> Michael Essa, he says, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to earn this thing. I'm not just going to hand it over. Yeah, if Essa hit him and Rome spun out, then we wouldn't get to see Rome's lead run, and then right. we would have a, a one more time type situation. All right, Rome into that last outside zone. Oh, Ooh. and loops it. So same spot that JTP yeah, the did. Must be real slippery. Yeah, that's what that's what Chris was just talking about. So Essa will be getting the victory unofficially, and uh, but we will make it official just like that. Like, got a clean start, and here we go. Essa had a lot of grip on his first run. Let's see how he handles it here, coming to that first outer zone. Essa using all the core skits all the way out to that white line inside that outer zone. There you go. Looks like Forsberg drops in, pulls out a little bit, as does Essa. Now coming into this inside clip. Both of them bringing it around. Forsberg just knocking it over. Now into this final outside zone. There goes Essa. Forsberg taking it away. Shallower line, and it almost comes to a halt right before that finish line. Things are getting hairy there, Ryan. Right, Robbins or Kazuya Taguchi. 
Chris Forsberg leading the NOS Energy Drink Nissan 370Z. Coming into that outer zone. See how deep he is. Michael Essa right there. Now coming through. Look at that. Whoa, look at Michael Essa taking a way shallower line. And that's what Lontane was talking about earlier. When you take a shallower line, you're going to get grip. And Michael Essa spins out, handing it to Forsberg as long as he maintains and continues on his pace. Chris Forsberg crosses the finish line. And Chris Forsberg gets the win in his NOS Energy Drink Nissan 370Z, an unfortunate turn of events for Michael Essa. Ah, yeah, and Jared, that seemed to be brewing right after the initiation heading into outside zone number two yeah, from outside the system. Here we go with the next battle. Two former champions, Michael Essa, FCP Euro, Liquid Valley GT Radio, BMW, Von Gitt Jr. A little late initiation. They're not late, but not as early as Michael Essa. And Von Gitt Jr., surprisingly, not high on the bank. Does have proximity, but let's see how he handles this second outside zone. Woo! Look at that. Von Gitt Jr. performing surgery there on that second outside zone. Drops into formation. And now finishing out, Vaughn gets a little squirrely Dan there. Let's take a look at this again. Ryan, what 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 are your thoughts here? Taking a look at, uh, at again, right now, a crazy Ford all-electric vehicle being piloted over at Goodwood Festival speed. Here we go. Now it's all about Vaughn Gitt Jr. In that first outside zone, looking a lot more comfortable. Throwing some more angle at it. Let's see how he handles it. And there's that, uh, that that crease playing a role here. Oh, wow, Essa, really well done. Just barely letting that vehicle pass right in front of him. But Vaughn sets it and forgets it. Oh, looks like we got a little love tap or a hate tap there towards the end, Ryan. That was one of the, the so best. Gushy. Here we go, set it. Yeah. Michael Essa initiates high into the bank. Ken Gushi a little bit later than Michael Essa. Now both of them riding high. Michael Essa just a bit higher. You can tell by those hash marks on the lane. Now coming down to the power alley into that second outside zone. Ken Gushi shortens it up. Michael Essa, oh, we got contact. Houston, we have a problem. But Michael Essa not phased. Ken Gushi continues on. And that's exactly what he needed to do to really solidify what was going on there. Gushi coming in way too hot, having to compromise, and then just shortens it up and gets in the side of him. Exactly what we just said, yep. right? Outside zone three, there's a decel prior to the zone and filling most of the zone, about 75% of it. And big props there to Michael Essa for staying in that. That was a pretty hard hit. Here we go, Ken Gushi now leading out of that start chicane. You gotta think, how is Michael Essa gonna approach this? He goes tip to tail, now they go into formation. But Michael Essa, very interesting approach, but looks like he's got the horsepower and he is right there next to him. But I would like to see him mimic that angle, but Gushi really pointed on like the line where he's at, as long as Essa keeps it clean. Oh, buddy, looks like we are going toe to toe or nose to nose, wheel to wheel, door to door. The Seattle crowd erupts as they go across the finish line. Ladies and gentlemen, Formula Drift, baby. Ryan, real interesting approach. Like I said, it was like. Tip. Yeah, that's okay. correct. You, you sided with Ken Gushi, but. Um, one more time, this is Michael Essa and Ken Gushi. Michael Essa initiates high on the bank. Ken Gushi, you can see some wow. wavering there. Michael Essa sticking it to the wall. Jeez. Woo, are you kidding me? Look at that. Nice job by Essa. And look at Essa gets all that second outer zone. He seems like he's fired up. That FCP Euro Liquid Volley BMW transitions in. The GT radials go round. Ken Gushi drops into formation, but yo, he was your number one qualifier. Or fast your... pedal down. He's sticking it to the wall. So now he needs to show up in a chase fashion. But Ken Gushi quickly gets to the wall. But Michael Essa, you can see nosing in. We need to mimic that angle as opposed to just getting that proximity. This is kind of reminiscent of Daigo Saito when you know proximity was the highlight. But we want to mimic. Oh, and Michael Essa makes a mistake. Uh oh. Oh boy. Things are going awry for Michael Essa as they bring it into that last outside zone. The question is, lead versus lead. First battle of the great eight. Here goes Michael Essa. Out of the gate, big initiation there. And Travis Reed, so what am I talking about? Dylan Hughes. Dylan Hughes going, getting after it. Michael Essa, really high on the bank. Your number one qualifier, D Hughes. The does are going. Oh, wow. Barely avoiding some contact as Michael Essa and Reeders. God dang it, Dylan Hughes. What? They're the same person. They're the same person, Dylan Hughes. That fast orange Permatex BMW. 
Throwing it down. Oh, and Michael Asa makes contact. Oh, and Asa makes a large correction. But Dylan Hughes, the dozer, takes it. The dozer gets a taste of his own medicine. Now they transition. Dylan Hughes could advance into the final four. Whoa, a large slowing there by the dozer. And now bringing it on in and on home. Make some noise. Woo! Holy cow. Ryan, which game? And ripping that first outside zone. Look how much smoke's being kicked off there by Essa. Oh, Simon Olsen jumps right to the side of him. Big vote of confidence there as Essa gets a little squirrely. And back into that outside zone four. And man, Simon. And through that start chicane. Clean start. Olsen out front. Going that outside zone. And into that second outside. Whoa, man, gets bangs off that 300 design body kit. And uh, hopefully everybody's okay on that side, man. That was a, that was that back bumper here. Oh, excuse me, it was the wing. Oh, we got contact. All right, let's see what we got here. Big angle for Chelsea Nova. Man, cotton balls coming out of the back of that Ford Mustang. Big angle. Look at the cockpit of Essa filled up. And then into that third outside zone. Denofa, a rocket ship. Oh, man, he goes deep. That was similar to the line of GTP we saw. So he overshot. And Michael Essa will lead. Essa out of the chicane. Here comes Chelsea Denofa. Initiates the same time. Oh, wow. Look at the pressure from Denofa. Oh, is that going to pay off? Is that going to pay off? Oh, we got contact. Houston, we got a problem. Denofa, we got a problem. And as the smoke clears, it looks like Denofa, it looked like he wasn't going to make it, but then he ends up getting in there. But it might have been a tighter line as Essa reintroduced and came into that oh, inside zone. Of oh. the Formula Drift, Linky CU, great eight. Frederick Osbo initiates into that first outside zone. Michael Essa. Chasing him down. Frederick Osbo looks like big angle from him. He's in the three-wheel motion into that front flip. Michael Essa taps it. Ooh, Michael flirting with the dirt. And then he just keeps on going past. Frederick Osbo fills all that outside zone. Michael Essa right there. But uh, it seems like Freddie with the gold. Oh, here we go. Michael Essa, Frederick Osbo leaving the start line. Essa, Essa will lead. Ooh, Frederick Osbo getting aggressive out of the gate. Is that too much? No. Not at all. Good composure here. Passing around that inside flip. Michael Essa, look at Osbo flexing on him. Ryan, he always said he peaks at the right time. And right now, Osbo is doing that. Gives him a little bit of room. Was that too much? I don't think so. Uh, I think this is definitely deserving of a of BC Racing side by side. And that shot. is Ryan Turk. Let's make it official. Slide him over to. Oh, look at this. Frederick Osbo. One more time, and oh. one more time. They're going at it again. Advantage of this opportunity. The one more time battle here between Osbo and Essa. Osbo initiates in that outside zone. Look at Essa. Whoa, Doctor. And unfortunately, he bit off more than he could chew. His eyes were bigger than his stomach, and. A little bit of a yard sale there in that first outside zone, Ryan. And Osbo does have to continue through the course, and that will be a solid run there for Osbo with an advantage. Osbo, excuse me, Michael Esso was trying to grease it sick. there. That was pushing as close as he could oh to boy. the upper limits of what's possible. This, and again, the winner of this goes in the final four. Esso out front again with that disadvantage. Now Frederick Osbo tucks in into that second outside zone and around that front clip go both the drivers. Don't need beat there, fellas. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter at this point, but uh, into that final outside zone and the GT radials and the NATO tires stay affixed to their respective rims and they're behind the wheel. Here we go. Michael Essa will lead Federico Sharifo giving chase, coming into view and through that hard right-hand 90. Out to that touch and go, goes Essa to FCP Euro, Liqui Molly, BMW. I mean, this is, this is what Michael Essa does. He just ticks all the boxes in just a quick, expedited manner. That was a, I mean, that right there is a high qualifying run. Federico got a little bit of a clinic there in that chase.
but as he as he DM me yesterday, he says, "You know me, Jared. I never give up." Federico Sharifo, triple F, drifting department, GTB Ferrari. There he goes. Almost gets out of that touch and go, but he's going to fill all that tap, that fast bumper on that outside zone. Taking a very shallow line. Doesn't get to that second outside zone. Definitely gets out to that touch and go and wraps around that final flip. That's a new start chicane. And Kyle Mohan blasting him off the gates. Good initiation by Michael S. And Mohan. Back there a little bit. Can he get some ground? He takes a shallower line. Doesn't get out, touch and go. And Mohan hits the wall, straightens out. That's a consistent all the way through. Essa going for it, unfortunately hits the wall, gets out of shape. And Ryan, I believe that very well could be an incomplete energy. We will see top 16 action some time, but right now he'd love to make it all the way to the grade eight and continue on it. Long Beach. Big angle from Mohan. Essa right there. Both of them filling that first outside zone. Get the zone, auto zone. Woo! Look at Mohan, putting it down, but cannot shake Essa. Ryan, a great lead run by Mohan. Right now, it's all about Essa and Bakshis. Essa, the SCP Euro BMW, throws it in. Odie, one of the best chases in the biz. Gets out to that touch and go. Look at Essa just really massage it in there. Well done by Michael Essa. You can see, not as deep, but Odie Bakshis really modified his line. Kept that proximity. And right, right there, you see that, Ryan. I'm telling you, the, the, cha the chase and how dynamic Essa team out front, where's it from Lithuania? Odi Bakshis. Now Michael Essa, there it is. So there goes Odi Bakshis. Michael Essa, you saw some hesitation. Oh, and Essa hit the wall. Ryan, with that mistake, if Odi keeps it clean, he very well might have the victory in his hands. And Ryan, there it is. So not only the, the mistake on outside zone two up front, but that wall tap and that correction, unfortunately. Who's moving on to the great eight? Essa or Denofa. Michael Essa initiates really that rate to angle solid there from Essa. But look at Denofa. You see him lunge forward, but he's not mimicking the angle. Does gain that proximity. Wow, very close. Just barely letting a pass by in front of him. In that second outside zone, Ryan. Essa filling all of it. Denofa, again, great proximity. He's nosing in. Denofa with three victories this year, three wins. That caused him to check up, which Vaughn went to the side of him, all joking aside. But I'm telling you right now, expect a really wild run here from Chelsea Denofa. You seem like a guy that's watched a lot of drifting. That, yeah, I have. I've watched a little bit. Here we go, Chelsea Denofa, big See? angle there. Big angle from Chelsea Denofa, the BC Racing Ditto tire. Ford Performance Mustang, RTR ready to route it in that second outside zone. Chelsea Denofa. Draggy bumper on the wall. Now in that final outside zone, smoking those Nitto tires. Big angle for him. Tap of the brakes. And that's, that's exactly what I expected. And he looks like he gapped Esso a little bit, left him from the line. But one more time, and the final judge says, one more time. One more time battle. Leaving it all out on track. Here we go. Michael has a quick little quiver of that front wheel, but look at Chelsea Denova jump to the side of Essa, and now coming to that second outside zone. Wow, look how deep Chelsea Denova is. Digging himself into that. Oh, we got tire to tire contact. Chelsea Denova comes unwound. That is not where you want to hit when you go contact. You could hit door, you could kind of rub, give a little birthmark there, but unfortunately, when you go tire to tire, all right, here we go. Slide him left for Essa, right for Denofa. There's a one more time. And another one more time. Lynn, here as Michael Essa, SCP Euro, Liquid Molly, BMW, comes down the pipe. Chelsea Denofa, there in tow for the third one more time. Chelsea Denofa knows it in. Light up the track. Wheel to wheel, rubber to rubber. Transitioning past the inside clip. Into that second outside zone goes Essa and Denofa. Burn him to earn him. Risk it for the biscuit. Pass that second inside clip. Chelsea Nova falls back a little bit. Big snappy angle from Michael Essa. Looks like it grips up and Genova spins. Into the great eight. We're still in the 16 with these two gentlemen. Chelsea Nova initiates. 
Medium high on the bank, works his way up top. Essa, not as much angle, but now goes to the side of him. Pass that front inside clip. Into the second outside zone. Janoka dragging bumper. And Essa trying to catch him. And then into that final outside zone. Lifting that front right tire is Chelsea Danova. And bringing it across the finish line. Ryan again trying to remind the fans of what happened on that first half of that battle. Well, no matter what, it's going to be a split decision because of the split decision on fault.